Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we have a Nawala mod. And uh, it is the Onaker. And uh, not to confuse, earlier today I made a video on the Persian Onaker um, made by three different mothers. Um, but uh, this mod is only made by Nawala and it's the normal Naga and not the Persian one, just to make sure there's a difference. It does seem like we have two coloration, but the yellow coloration here is the male, and the more pale one, a more color toned one, is the female. So let's just jump right into Supedia here, and we have again Onaka in near Threaten, and there are 55,000 of them left in the wild. They live in Asia, more specifically uh, Iran, Pakistan, India, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Uz Uzbekistan, Turk Turkmenistan and China. Uh, they live in grassland and desert biomes and they, one of them need 425 square meters of land as additional need uh, 40 extra and a baby needs 20 extra so moving on to temperature minus uh, 9 to 40 degrees celsius so they are quite easy to keep uh, on that account you need grade 2 fence 4 feet 0.125 which is roughly a meter and 25 um, over here, let's see, sorry, a meter and 40. Um, groups from 3 to 12, one male and 11 females, uh, though male groups only go up to 8. Uh, one dominant male per group, females ranked by age. Um, they are polyamorous, confidence around humans, and humans should not enter the habitat. Uh, the males grow to 4 feet 9, so that's around 60, uh, uh, a meter and 60 centimeters. And the female 4 feet 7, which would be around a meter and... A meter and... One and a half meter? Something like that. A little smaller than the males. Um, bum, 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 bum. They live for around 24 years, sorry, 25 years, and one weigh around 640 pounds, that would be around 320 kilos. They reach sexual maturity at age 2 and they can reproduce until they die. They get up one offspring every year and they are pregnant for 12 months. Uh, they should be around average to get to reproduce in captivity and we have a lot of interspecies enrichment here the bacterial camel the indian elephant and the indian rhino um we have some enrichment and um some of them make sense so we have the rubbing threes and the rubbing pillar making sense we have the large ball we have the snowball we have the Grab ball, we have the herbs and marker. Making sense, a lot of these hoofed animals have these. Uh, explain to me why the piano is an enrichment item for the Onagi. Um, if you know, please uh, tell me in the uh, comments below because I have no idea. I have seen them use it and it just seems wrong. They also have this one, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, uh, one of them once accidentally step on it and it's ruined, so therefore it's kind of confused me. Uh, food and regiment, we actually have quite a lot. We have the hanging food, um, feeder, the big barrel, the top uh, ball, the... What's it called? A uh, melon, oh, that's why it's not there, it's the melon. And then we have the scarecrow feeder. So we have quite a few of them. Uh, the only gender difference is the color. Again, the male is the more yellow one. So we're just gonna take a look at one of them. If I'm just move the sun over here, maybe. Then we get a good view of it. Now, 
for me when I think of an old Vela mod is details. He are very good and here you can see again every single hair strand is clear. You have a little bit of a green patch there which uh, could for instance come for when they rub themselves on a tree trunk or the um, when they eat their sliver bit uh, comes very green because of all the greens in the grass and the leaves that they eat. Uh, so it could be from that. Um, nose is very real and this is so lifelike. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, eyelash is beautiful. Uh, look at this. You can see here it has uh, a few dis different textures here on top of it. This is each other. So we have the fur of course with these individual hair strands. But then we have this kind of gnobby. A thing going on which I don't know what is but it does make sense that this is an animal in the wild and a lot of animals have different kind of it could be parasites it could be fleas it could be everything so it does make sense for it to be there uh, then it have its what's it called mane here which is fairly short and where did you go then a detail here I noticed earlier is that you clearly can see that the dark patch here are not just painted on, it's also uh, hair. So it actually looks amazing. The only thing I kind of have an issue with, and this doesn't seem me mean that it's wrong, but here you can see it's lighter here than it kind of looks, it kind of for me looks like you uh, pour some dirty water over it and then it kind of made it a bit dirtier here and then went down here and then just stopped here so it most dirty here and here and here kind of look like that to me and the same on the male over there not as much but we kind of in the same area um that's the only thing i have about it the tail is beautiful with so many different hair strands and still the bulk in the middle which uh, Till has. Now I've been looking a lot of hoofs and I'm a bit confused in Danish we have a word for the horses and the cows they, 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 they don't have the same feet I'm not sure is it hoof both of them in English or just one of them uh, please tell me in the uh, comment section if you know because I don't quite understand it. I tried Google Translate and it just confused me even more. Um, but here you can see we have a straight line here. Which it has. But then we have the fur up here and the first strands of hair here. They would fall down over that line and cover some of that line. And I have seen one mod that this week that done that. And I'm looked at seven months this week and this is the last one i'm looking at uh, the one that's going up tomorrow i already done one of the months this week made it this right um and and it's it's just a detail because it's right that it has this line but it would be covered but but by some tiny furs here um but that's it it's beautiful it is pretty much what we want it to be uh, it have kind of the donkey ears. Um, I also I think it's closer related to donkeys than to uh, horses, but I'm not sure. Um, the movement is beautiful, and while we talk of movement, so did you see that little cute movement over here? Just stop in time again here. How cute is that? And you can see all of the teeth inside the mouse that's detailed. We have all of the individual strands of hair. It's beautiful. We have that, um, again, I can't remember what's it called, but where center here and then the hair strands go every single way away from that. I think it's beautiful. We have the line here, which is much lighter on the baby, which I really like. We have the little cute tail and we have again this same no oh this looks more real than the other one but then over here we still have the 
a concrete line but here it actually looks better than it did on the adult um, but that's sh again just me there's something I noticed that most people probably don't uh, and I don't make this video to tell any mother that they are stupid or doing a bad job I only do this video to help you pick out the ones you want to use uh, so when there's a thing like here with the hoof that I find very weird that doesn't mean that you find it weird and therefore don't you don't need to have the same opinion that I have I just show them off and tell you what I think um, I'm not qual qualified to tell you what a good mud is overall because I don't know even how to make one um, but besides that guys I just want to add here at the last part uh, I had have an Instagram called Nisi Pilsen uh, where I try to put up uh, teasers from what I'm doing here on my channel I also try to put a little bit of my everyday life if you want to see who the hell I am you can see it all what there it is linked in the bottom of the description so if you don't care about the rest of the description just roll down in the bottom and it will be right there um, but besides that guys, that's all I had for you today. You know the drill, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!